infrastructure. Canals and tributaries supporting these units will extend hundreds of miles into the dry lands. With this technology, we could supply much needed water for agriculture, fish farming, shipping, recreation, city needs and more, thus eliminating water shortages throughout the world. Applying technology in this way would enable a global society to achieve social advancement and worldwide reconstruction in the shortest possible time. Buildings can be erected by the slip form method, whereby the outer walls are formed while concrete is pumped into the moving form. The concrete rapidly sets within as the form is continuously elevated. When the metal alloy nitinol is bent out of shape and heat or radiant energy is applied, it will return to its original form. In the distant future, the use of such memory material will allow all structures to self-erect in a manner similar to the growth process of living systems. For example, a seed contains the genetic code necessary to allow its development into a full-grown redwood. In the construction of large domes, a mega machine travels around the structure, setting in place interlocking sections of the outer surface and forming a complete dome. Construction crews of the future consist of automated cranes that travel along the building's length, installing floors, windows, curtain walls, roofing and other components from the ground up. Self-monitoring sensors will avoid industrial accidents. A high-powered laser excavator is tunneling its way through the bedrock. These machines can be designed to operate without any significant disruption of the environment. Eventually, robotic machines of the future will be capable of transforming their shape and function to accommodate any industrial task. Multi-access robots will utilize vast information resources, enabling them to receive additional commands by satellite while communicating with one another. They will also coordinate the logistics for each project. Eventually, factories will be designed by robots for robots. The cybernated systems would also be self-programming by means of environmental feedback. Machines will even be capable of self-replication and improvement of their operational range, while at the same time repairing themselves and updating their own circuitry. Since the computers and systems involved would be continuously self-monitoring, parts could be supplied and installed well in advance of wear. Nanotechnology will be one of the most exciting fields of exploration. It combines the use of optics and lasers and will eventually enable us to assemble matter, atom by atom into whatever molecular structure is needed. Nanotechnology, replication and cybernation will lead to a revolution in all fields, offering humanity the means to command its destiny to a degree never before attainable. If used responsibly, we could overcome scarcity once and for all and virtually eliminate poverty and unnecessary human suffering, along with the need for repetitive and unrewarding work. We must understand that it is not automated technology or machines we should be wary of, but rather the abuse and misuse 
of technology by selfish interests. It remains solely our decision whether we use machines to elevate people everywhere or to serve our fears, prejudice and power seeking. Even our wildest and most imaginative visions of the future will fall far short of the technological potential of what humanity can accomplish once we have collectively declared all of the planet's resources as being the common heritage of all the world's people.